Hey y'all, welcome to fifth grade, chapter seven, lesson eight. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, and they wanna know if the factors will be greater than, less than, or equal to. There we go, to the end number here, okay? So here's the thing with number two, five over five is equal to one. Anything times one is gonna be itself, so it's gonna be equal. Okay, now, when we are multiplying a whole number by a whole number with a fraction, it's always going to be greater than, every single time. Okay, so whole number, whole number with a fraction, it's going to be greater than, okay? Okay, now. Whole number with a fraction, whole number with a fraction, we're doing just fine, so it's going to be greater than. Okay? It is when you are multiplying a whole number or a whole number with a fraction by a number smaller than one. Well, five ninths is smaller than one, so it's going to be less. Okay? This one, one eighth and a whole number and a fraction, okay? One eighth is less than one, so it's going to be less, okay? Whole number with a fraction, whole number with a fraction, greater. Okay, not so bad, guys, okay? All right. Okay, same thing, guys. Okay, so Jenna skis two and one third miles down the mountain. Her instructor skis one and a half times as far. Does Jenna ski a shorter or greater distance than her instructor? So all it's saying is two and one third times one and one half is greater than or equal to. Sorry, give me just a second, guys. I'm stressing. Okay. Then her two and one third. Okay. So it will be Jenna skied this far. Her instructor did this far and this far. Okay. So Jenna skied. Jenna skied less than her instructor. Because that means her instructor scored just as much as Jenna did right here, and then that far too. Okay. Instructor. Okay. Suppose you multiply a fraction less than one by the mixed number two and three quarters. Will the product be less than, greater than, or equal to? So would they want us to multiply a whole number with a fraction? by a number less than one so by just a fraction is that going to be greater than or less than the two and three quarters well we know when we multiply a whole number with a fraction with a number less than one it's going to be less than okay okay rectangular washington county measures 15.9 miles by 9.1 miles. What's the county's area? Okay, so let's do the math. Okay, 15.9 by 9.1 multiplied. Okay, 1 times 15.9, so I'm just gonna, okay, tick, which we don't have any, that's okay, toe, I'm oh, sorry, tick, tack, toe, 9 times 9 is 81, carry the 8. 9 times 5 is 45 plus 8 more. Goodness. Okay, so 45 plus 8 is going to be 53. Carry our 5. 9 times 1 is 9 plus 5 is 14. Add them up. Okay. 9, 6, 4, 
four, one, and we need to go in one, two places for our decimal. So, 144 miles, right? 144.69 miles squared or square miles. You can write square miles if you want. You can just put miles squared, okay? All right. And now, give me a piece of scrap paper. One bread recipe calls for two and a third cups of flour. Another bread recipe calls for two and a half cups of flour. Tim has five cups of flour if he makes both recipes. How much flour will he have left over? All right, well, let's first add up how much flour he needs for them, okay? So I'm gonna put my whole numbers over here, and then I'm just gonna add up the one third and one half, okay? And then I'll add up my whole numbers, but this way I only have to deal with this, okay? So I need a common denominator, which between two and three is gonna be six. Okay, I need to multiply three by two, so I need to multiply the top by two, and I get two. I need to multiply the two by three, and multiply the top by three, So now I have five, six. Okay, so he needs four, okay, four and five, six, okay? That's what he needs, okay? He has five cups, okay? So, okay. So I'm going to make that four and six over six. So I borrowed one from the five and I made it into six over six so that I could subtract this with my denominator being a six. Okay, I needed a common denominator and six over six is equal to one, okay? Okay, so now four minus four is nothing. So I'm just gonna cross them out. Okay, my denominator is going to stay the same, and then 6 minus 5 is 1. So, 1, oh, one 6, cut. There we go. Okay, so 1 6 of a cup. Okay? All right. On Monday, it rained one and a quarter inches. On Tuesday, it rained three-fifths of an inch. How much more did it rain on Monday than on Tuesday? So we need to find the difference. We do that by subtracting one and one quarter minus three-fifths to find the difference, okay? So I'm going to need, first, I'm just gonna, Go ahead and find the common denominator, which between four and five, that's 20, okay? So, I'm still gonna have one, 20 minus 20, okay? So now, I had to multiply the four by five, and then multiply the top by five, and then I have five. I had to multiply this by four, multiply this by four, so that's 12, okay? Now you will notice that five cannot take away 12. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. I'm going to borrow that one. I'm going to add a 20 over 20 here. Okay. So then I'm going to have 25 over 20 minus 12 over 20. Okay. And I will have 13 over 20. 13 over 20 in. Okay, we actually did your whole homework lesson that time around, guys. Okay, so make sure that you guys wrote down your work. Go back, do whatever you need to do to write down your work. Okay, thanks for hanging out for 7.8. Come on back for 7.9. See you soon.